Hello and welcome to the my A network setup tutorial. So first of all, you need to have a mod pack running with both the mod Open Computer and Applied Energistic. Uh, next, you want to have your uh, Applied Energistic network. So there is a basic one with items and some crafts. Next thing you have to do is to set up the Open Computer computer. So you're going to need a computer case. You need at least the tier two. And you need the graphics card, CPU, memory, internet card, hard drive, Lua BIOS, and the OpenOS operating system. Next, you have to place the computer case and put the components in. So graphics card, CPU, memory, internet card, hard drive, BIOS, and operating system. After that, you have to Hook up a screen with a keyboard, a power converter, and an energy source. So we put the screen on top, the keyboard on the side of the screen, the power converter next to the computer case, and the power source. Okay. Uh, quick note if you are using the tier 2 computer case, you can see that you cannot put the operating system inside so you need to have a disk drive and put it next to the computer and in the disk, disk drive you can insert the operating system so now you're going to turn on your computer here we go and once it has finished booting, booting up you can run the install command and you press Y. Now it's going to install the operating system on your computer. So the speed uh, depends on the components you have. The better component will be faster. And if you have the tier 1 components, uh, it will take a little bit of time. Uh, so once the installation is done, you only have to type Y once again, and it will reboot. Okay, and now you have to insert the command uh, to download the program. Uh, it's in the description if you want it. So just copy it, and then to paste it on the computer, you use the insert key on your keyboard. And then press enter. So now that the file has been downloaded, you just run auto install and it will download the other files. And it's done. Now you just have to take an adapter and some cable. You need to put the adapter next to the ME controller and connect it to the computer case using open computer cables. Okay. Now that it's connected to the computer, you can run the command my AE network slash account. Uh, this will create your account that you use to connect on the website. So you need to choose your username. So we're going to take tutorial and a password. Uh, we're going to use hello. Uh, the password uh, is not encrypted, so do not use sensitive passwords once again. Okay, our account creation has been accepted by the server. So now we only have to run the program and the command is my AE network slash web. As we can see, it says that the program started, so it's working and uh, now uh, just a little more information um, if you're playing on single player and you want to access your network from the website you need to have the game running so if you press escape uh, the game is paused right now so it won't work uh, your game has to be running uh, if you're playing on a server you don't even have to be on the server uh, you only have to 
have your computer uh, junk loaded and that's it so now that the program is running we can go on the website so the website has address is my AE network dot ovh and we're going to log in using our name and password so as we can see there is all the items that are in our ME network uh, we even have some information about the network, about the power and the CPUs. Um, and for each item in your network, you can see that uh, you have a column named is craftable. So in this column, uh, if your item is craftable by the network, you can request it. For example, if, uh, if we want some sticks, as we can see, we have zero sticks. Uh, we can request it. So let's say I want 32 sticks. We type 32 in the box and click on request. Uh, now you have to press uh, F5 to refresh the page. And as we can see on the right side, uh, our crafting request has been accepted by the system and is now even done as we can see so if we go back to minecraft we can see that we do have the 32 sticks in our network so the tutorial is now finished so if you have any problems or questions you can contact me on discord or leave a comment on the video and I will respond to them.